Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in down my TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, I need everybody to go hit them post notification bell button so you always be in the loop every time I drop a video. And make sure y'all go scroll down at some of my old videos and hit that like button and boost my algorithm up. You know what I mean? Help me get like 20,000 subscribers, man. But yeah, let me get straight down to it. Today we finna talk about the legendary uh, R&B singer Nate Dogg's son in hell, you know what I mean? Everybody know Nate Dogg was the king of hooks, you know what I mean? He cousins with Daz and uh, and Snoop Dogg. He was in that group 213. And uh, his son got into some beef with uh, Almighty Suspect, another L.A. rapper, that daddy named... Uh, Rifleman, his daddy was an underground rapper too in the 90s, you feel me? So both of them come from a music background and stuff like that in the Crenshaw, Los Angeles area, you know what I mean? But in hell, ran into some smoke with Almighty Suspect when he was leaving the uh, studio and Almighty uh, Suspect came from nowhere and they slapped him, you know what I mean? They got caught on video. And uh, they said it wasn't even almighty. They said it was his homeboy. When, you know, he slapped him, he didn't really phase him, but he made him back up a couple of steps. And then they was like, man, you was looking from right to left, talking to your, uh, to the police guard came out there. Then you was really ready to fight. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, in hell was like, man, I just thought dude was a fan. They ain't really know who he was. I just thought he had a problem. And out of nowhere, the nigga stole me. You know what I mean? And then they say that, you know, Almighty say that the nigga telling people that he had his back turned so he had to go ahead and put the footage out and let the world see that homie really wasn't about that life. He was backpedaling. And he was trying to get somewhere. And you know what I mean? He ain't had no goons standing behind him, but uh, I think it was a powder puff, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? He did throw up his set. He didn't really run. He just didn't get time to uh, throw nothing back and fight back, but I believe if y'all would have rushed him, shit, he would have fought, you know what I mean? But he wasn't no pussy. He just, you know, nigga was a lot bigger than him, just came and slapped him, you know what I mean? He wasn't ready for it. He was outnumbered. He was watching one nigga and the other nigga came and uh, slapped him up. That's what it looked like to me. But I don't think it's going to affect nobody's career. You know what I mean? Almighty, he on Instagram saying, yeah, I slapped a famous rapper, son. He ain't going to do shit. You know what I mean? He been in a lot of beasts. But, you know, he said, man, anybody trolling him? He gonna make an example of you when he catch you out there in traffic, you know what I mean? Cause he is a street nigga, and you know, his music, it is what it is, but you know, he ain't taking it serious, man. He's finna start jumping on niggas' heads and stepping on niggas' neck. And then he gonna get in the music industry and get what he want. But for right now, you know what I mean? He just gonna keep applying pressure in these streets and running down on these guppies and exposing them. But he just put a diss record out too, uh, explaining the whole incident, you know what I mean? But y'all let me know what y'all think about Almighty Suspect slapping up in hell Nate Dogg's son. And do y'all think it's gonna be any consequences for that, you know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace of mind.